racquetball 101. So when you're serving in racquetball, you need to stand behind the service line in front of the short line. So that creates a box, um, the only box, rectangular box that you will see on the court. So you have to stand in between the service line, the short line, and that's just in that box. Before hitting it, you have to drop the ball and let it bounce. It has to bounce on the ground before you serve it. And once you do that, you hit the ball and then it has to fly and travel in the air, hit off the front wall, and then come back over the rectangular box that you serve from. That back line is called the short line. It has to bounce over the short line. If it hits before the short line, then it is a fault and then you will have to serve again. You're allowed one fault and then you can serve again. After two faults, you switch the person that is serving. So also on the serve, it comes off the front wall, travels over the box, over the short line, and comes all the way back. It cannot hit a the back wall in the air. So if it hits the back wall in the air, that is also a fault. Um, you are, however, allowed to hit the front wall and a side wall as long as it does bounce in between the back wall and the short line. There is a dotted line on the court that line refers to where the person receiving the serve has to stand behind. They can stand anywhere behind that line and cannot stand in front of that line. So cutthroat is a variation of racquetball that can be played with three people. The way it works is one person will still serve just as they did before, but two people will be behind the line receiving. The two people behind the line are on the same team playing against the person who serves the ball and they will rotate turns hitting the ball each time. So the only way you can score a point is if you are serving the ball first and you guys will continue to change and rotate servers um, in the same pattern once you get started. <laughs> 